The story begins in a pub, where an unidentified couple observes three individuals seated nearby, Nora, Sung, and Arthur. They speculate about their relationships, noting Nora and Sung's conversation while Arthur remains silent beside Nora. Flashback to 24 years ago in Seoul, where Na Young and her friend Sung walk home together. Na Young feels disheartened for finishing second to Sung in school, but he reassures her, pointing out her consistent intelligence. Later, Na Young visits her parents and younger sister Si Young, who are preparing to move to Canada and choosing English names. Na Young decides on Nora. Na Young and Hei Sung's mothers accompany them to the park on their final day before departing. As they part ways, Hei Sung can only manage a bye before Na Young walks away. Twelve years later, Hei Sung completes his military service and returns to Seoul, where he frequents bars with his friends. Meanwhile, Nora is studying at college in New York. During a phone conversation with her mother, they reminisce about Hei Sung, whom Nora admits she had a crush on in the past. Nora's mother recalls Hei Sung's comment on her father's restaurant's Facebook page, inquiring about Nora's whereabouts. Encouraged, Nora sends Hei Sung a friend request. Hei Sung answers, and the two start speaking via a camera on Skype. They are overwhelmed yet overjoyed to see each other again after so long, and they begin catching up. Nora aspires to be a writer, and Hei Sung plans to travel to China for a language exchange program. Hei Sung asks Nora why she has never returned to Seoul, and while she suggests he visit her in New York, they are both unable to travel. After some time, Nora informs Hei Sung that they should stop communicating for a while so she can focus on her work. Nora subsequently attends a writer's retreat, where she meets Arthur. When they are alone at night, Nora discusses with Arthur the notion of Inyun, Providence which derives from a Korean adage that certain individuals know one another from former lifetimes, and if one briefly passes someone in their life, it signifies they knew each other from a prior incarnation. Lovers would have been together in several previous incarnations. Nora and Arthur then enter into a romantic relationship. Meanwhile, Hei Sung seems to have met a young woman somewhere in China. Another 12 years pass. Nora and Arthur are now married and both work as authors. Nora is seen auditioning for a play she created. Arthur, meanwhile, has achieved success with his best-selling novel Boner, and can be spotted at a book signing with Nora by his side. He has also made efforts to learn Korean for her. Hei Sung arrives in New York after breaking up with his fiancée, determined to find Nora. Nora encounters him on the street, and they spend time catching up. They explore the city together and take the ferry to the Statue of Liberty. When Nora returns home, she tells Arthur that Hei Sung came to visit her. Arthur worries that Nora and Hei Sung might be childhood sweethearts destined to be together, but Nora assures him of her love for him. Nora invites Hei Sung to join her and Arthur for dinner. They head to the pub where they were first spotted together. As Nora and Hei Sung converse in Korean, Arthur sits nearby. Hei Sung reminisces about Inyun and ponders their past lives together but Nora admits she doesn't know. They acknowledge how they've changed since childhood and their first online reconnecting. When Nora steps away to use the restroom, Sung apologizes to Arthur for speaking only in Korean, but Arthur doesn't mind. The three return home, and Nora accompanies Sung outside to wait for his Uber. They stand in silence, gazing at each other for about a minute until the car arrives. Hei Sung reflects on the possibility that they may be living out one of their past lives and wonders where they might meet again. They share a brief hug before he leaves. Nora walks back to Arthur waiting by the door and breaks into tears, finding solace in his embrace. The closing scene depicts Hei Sung driving to the airport, leaving New York behind. 